New tonight, we're hearing from the pilot whose landing gear collapsed while making an emergency landing at RDU just a few weeks ago. CBS 17's Harrison Grubb got a chance to talk to him today. A family vacation that got off to an unexpected start. Told the kids, you know, tighten your seatbelts, grab a dog and uh, hang on. Mike Miner had his wife, two kids and four dogs aboard when his small plane started having equipment trouble. And I was stopping for fuel in Harnett County and when I uh, went to land, I couldn't get the landing gear down. Growing up and learning to fly around Fuquay Varina, Miner is familiar with the area. When manually dropping the gear didn't work, he decided to divert to RDU. That way they'll have crash, fire and rescue if we need it. As well as additional help from air traffic control. The nose gear appears to be down, but like I said, we don't know if it's locked or not, of course, but it appears to be down. After a flyby over the airport, he made his approach. I'll put it down outside right, and uh, we'll hope for the best here. Calmly bringing his plane in for an emergency landing. Put it down, and it was, you know, pretty benign landing. Just kind of slid to a stop and got out, and everybody was fine. The impact bent his plane's propeller, but Miner says the rest of it appears to be in good shape. Actually, there was not a single scratch on the... Uh, underside of the airplane on the cowling. I was actually absolutely shocked. I guess there's some kind of pads under there that take most of the impact. Now he's eager to get it back in the air again, especially since I'm driving right now from Key West to <laughs> Richmond. At RDU, Harrison Grubb, CBS 17 News.